When the delicate balance between environment, genes and the microbiota is disrupted, trouble can ensue and inflammatory bowel diseases are a common consequence, affecting more than one in 200 people in the Western world. Over the past few decades, the dramatic increase in IBD and many other immune-mediated diseases has paralleled the decline in infectious diseases. This is true around the world, and in recent years especially evident in the Far East. Here, traditional developing countries have modernized, largely adopting a westernized lifestyle. It appears this may be directly responsible for the dramatic increase in the number of IBD cases. The multiple environmental factors of a westernized lifestyle impact the gut microbiota, possibly contributing to the development of IBD and disease flare. IBD typically manifests in adolescence or early adulthood and is characterized by periods of remission and flare. Treatments can be associated with side effects and don't always work, often necessitating major surgery to remove portions of the intestine. All too commonly, the disease evolves resulting in increasing amounts of bowel damage. In genetically susceptible individuals, priming events likely result in an altered microbiota. This predisposes to the development of inflammatory bowel disease, following additional environmental triggers. These triggering events may be the same that lead to disease flare following periods of clinical remission. A decade of gene discovery has taught us a lot about the biology of the disease, defining over 200 independent susceptibility genes in IBD but has yet to prove direct clinical utility. In fact, it doesn't tell us who develops the disease, nor allow us to predict disease course or stratify clinical therapy. We now have an urgent problem trying to understand which changes in the gut microbiota lead to the development of IBD, and which are simply changes induced by the gut inflammation that characterizes IBD after it has developed. Two major studies are currently trying to dissect the role of genetic, environmental and gut microbial factors in IBD. The GEM study is recruiting 5,000 healthy first-degree relatives of patients with Crohn's disease and taking biological samples and lifestyle information while they are well. Individuals are then followed up over time and the minority that develop Crohn's disease will be compared with those that do not. The PREDICT study aims to uncover the causes of disease flare in IBD. In order to do this, it's recruiting patients with established Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis in clinical remission, collecting DNA, stool samples, as well as detailed lifestyle and dietary information. The dietary, microbial and other factors analyzed at the start will be compared in those patients who flare and those who do not. If you would like to help with either of these research studies or with the broader program of work, please get in touch.